Hi friends, welcome back to another video. In this video today, I'll show you how to create a simple mortgage calculator within Excel. So let's get straight into it. And the first thing you need to fill out within this template is the amount borrowed. So let's say you've got a mortgage of 250,000. And let's change that to a currency and then reduce the decimal places. Now in terms of periods, we want this in a monthly view. So what you need to do is, let's say your mortgage is 25 years, which is kind of the standard duration. So go 25 times by 12, that will give you 300 months and that will be our period duration. Now in terms of rate, let's go with 5%, which is broadly the figure right now in UK with base rate being fairly high. So what we need to do is equals 0 0.05 divided by 12. And that gives us a monthly interest rate. And the fourth component is your monthly payments. So this will include the principal as well as the interest. And to work this out, we need to use the PMT formula. So that will go as follows. So equals PMT, open bracket. Now Excel will ask you a few questions. Question number one, what is your rate? So our rate is this one right here, then press comma. Then NPR is the number of periods, which will be 300, and then comma again. Now present value is the amount borrowed. So for this to work, you need to put a minus in front, otherwise it won't work. So minus 250,000, comma again, and then press zero for future value. Close the bracket and press enter. Now this figure right here, 1,461, is your monthly payments, including principal and interest. So now that we know our monthly payments, we can move on to the next step. Before I do that, I'm gonna change this to a whole number so it's easier to read. Now, in terms of this table, the first field will be number one because it'll be for month one, and your beginning balance will be simply 250,000. That will be either pounds or dollars, depending on your currency. And then the monthly payments will simply be equals, and then you select this PMT field right there, and press enter. Now the interest, the way you work this out is by pressing equals, selecting the 250,000 and multiplying it by your interest rate, which is this field right there. Press enter and that gives you your monthly interest. Now the principal is simply the total payment deducted from the interest. So it'll be equals payment minus interest and that will be your monthly principal of 420. Now your ending balance for month one will simply be the opening balance of 250 minus 420 and that gives you your closing balance for month one. Now we need to go ahead and do the same thing for month two, although notice there'll be a few subtle changes. So start by entering the number two and then this time around your beginning balance will no longer be 250,000. It will in fact be the closing balance of month one. So press equals and select the ending balance and press enter. Now your payment will remain the same. So again, equals and this figure right there of PMT. And because it will remain the same, we can lock this by entering the dollar sign alongside the letter and then press enter. Now for the interest, the same logic. So equals your opening balance multiplied by your interest rate. Now again, because our rate will remain static in this example, we can lock that figure as well by pressing the dollar sign alongside the letter B and then press enter. Now your principal will be your payment minus your interest, and that will be the principal for month two. And then your ending balance, you can simply drag that down, and that will be the same logic as before, which is your opening balance minus your principal, that gives you your closing balance. So now that we've got all our formulas, if I select month two and drag it down, all our formulas have automatically updated. So our closing balance has slightly reduced, our principal is also slightly increasing, and the interest month on month is slowly coming down. Now, all you gotta do is select month three and drag it all the way down until you get to 300 periods or 300 months. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So let's get it to 306, that's the field we need. There we go. And to double check that, your final balance should be zero and that will be correct. So if I hover over here on the principal field, if I press Alt and equals, as you can see, this has worked out the 250, which was our original balance. So that means it's correct. And if you want to understand how much money the banks are making in interest, press Alt equals again, press enter. As you can see, the bank is making 188,000 in interest. So actually your property of 250,000 has cost you way more money. And that's just the way mortgages work, unfortunately. So another thing you can do is you can select your data, press Control Shift and up. That will select all the fields. Put a 
border around it, center align it so it's a bit easier to see. And if you go all the way to the top, that will be your mortgage calculator complete. Now it's important to call out that the biggest limitation of this template is that it assumes that your interest rate will remain the same of your entire mortgage. Now, of course, that won't be the case. Your rate will fluctuate based on the market and based on base rate. So that's something this doesn't take into account. It also doesn't take into account any overpayments that you might make during the course of your mortgage. So again, that's another limitation. So I'd use this as a bit of a guide so you get a high level understanding of what your interest rate will look like and how much you'll be paying over the course of your entire mortgage and typically how much your principal will be month on month.